Hello everyone, my name is Britt and welcome back to Harmony Hollow! So we're actually gonna start this off with something that's kind of hilarious. If you take a look in here... <laughs> Delfron told me that I was supposed to be recording before I came on, and I've actually been on a bunch of times, but when I had come on the first time, I slashed home and I come in this room, and I think I was supposed to come in the front door because all the bears are facing the front door. And I thought it was hilarious because it was like, I totally ruined this prank because they're all facing the wrong way. <laughs> but let's see what this says out here. It says, much bear, so good. Yeah, Estelle. <laughs> well, thanks. I'm, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and chop all these up. Oh, that sounds very gruesome. Beat them away. Uh, take them down and put them in my deco bench and use them as extra stuff. <laughs> I don't know if I showed you this either. I made a new kitchen. I, I can't remember when I did this, but it's been a while and it looks way better. And I also have some news for you, which is what's happening today. I'm gonna take all these bears down and then we will pop over to something really exciting. Is that all of them? I think it is. I had this one here. This was my little teddy. 55 bears. Oh my gosh. Look at all that clay and red and green provided. Let's see. Boop. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, we got our candy cane jar too. Okay, so before we get into the brand new thing, I want to explain something to you guys. The premise of Harmony Hollow Season 2 was that we split off into villages and... We intermingle with each other, have new friend groups that we don't usually hang out with, try to collab more, and the idea of it was super good, and it worked for a little while. But I'll just be honest, I started getting super jealous because everyone in Scott's village was coming on and hanging out and interacting, and neither of the other two villages were nearly as active, which means my village, which means I wasn't getting collabs and doing stuff and I didn't have as much excitement about the whole village idea anymore. So my yesterday, I went ahead and talked with our group and we decided that it was okay for us to mix up our groups. We don't have to stay in our villages anymore. I wanted to move. If you guys have been here from the very beginning or even seen another Minecraft series for me, you will know that I really like building houses and I usually move my houses like two or three times per series. <laughs> so I think this is going to be my second time, but as far as I can predict, the only, the last time. But let me show you where I am. This is the structure of my new home. I made it with the mangrove trees and I'm super excited about it. It's gonna be kind of the same style. I'm gonna have the same kind of roof on it. I'm like beyond excited about this. I'm, I love building of course. So the fact that I got to build another house was awesome. And I'm gonna walk over this bridge that I also built and show you there's a village right here. So, hey, we can get ourselves a boyfriend and Law Paws has moved. So Lauren is gonna be up there. I talked Sabra into moving near me. And then we're gonna come across this bridge and climb up this mountain. And if you'll see, oh, what's that? Oh, it's Scott's barn. Well, Scott's village. So we are just right on the other side of his village. For some reason, I lag a whole lot. My frames are okay right now, but as soon as I, let's, let's test this. As soon as I go, oh yeah, look at that. 18 frames. I don't know what's under this, area look at that oh my gosh it's so bad so i can't oh now it's okay uh, i don't know what it is but something is like so bad around here i can't come in here and cherry crashes so there's no chance of us actually living in the village but that's okay because i didn't want to live underground anyways i like being out in the sunshine so i'm probably gonna dig a pass through this hill and then, yeah, we're gonna start our own little above Scott's Village community. <laughs> so while I did like the entire village idea, I am a lot more excited about this because we'll all be a lot closer to each other. I don't know if everyone's moving and that's totally okay. People don't have to stay next to each other anymore. I'm kind of abandoning the village idea just because for me personally, it, it wasn't what was making me happy. I wanted more interaction from people, but you just can't ask that because people have really busy lives outside of playing Minecraft. <laughs> so over the next few episodes, we're going to build this house. It's mostly done, but I was thinking that today we could go and pack up our old house and bring some of our stuff in here. Granted, we don't have a floor yet, but we'll get that figured out at some point. <laughs> so the good thing is that all the deco craft stuff, like our entire kitchen, 
can go back into the deco bench. That's easy. We don't have to, oh, I forgot I had food in there. Whoopsies. We don't have to worry about, oh, I forgot I had food in there too. Darn it. <laughs> Just put it all in this cabinet. We will not destroy this cabinet if we can remember. It does kind of suck because I spent a good amount of time figuring out this kitchen and I do like it, but what can you do? I'm more excited about what's to come. Oh, hey, little zucchini. So the only thing I'm really worried about is packing up all of this. Luckily, it's not completely full, but I think I'm going to make a couple chest pets and they'll be like my moving boxes. So these, oh boy, I need I need wood to fill them up to make them happy. What's in here? So there, Oh yeah, there's plenty of room in here. So what we're gonna do is take a little bit of stuff at a time, just enough to get us situated. And how do you make a double chest pet? Wood, a diamond, gold, and a nugget. Okay, if we have two of these, we should be able to carry a good amount of stuff, I would think. So we'll start with our building blocks because we are going to need at least dark oak wood. I do know I, well, I assume I want to make my floors out of that. I don't ever know anything until I'm building already. I don't ever know what's, what I wanna do. Okay, this is gonna take way longer than I thought. I'm just gonna leave all this in here. I, I can't, I really can't be bothered right now. What we will do is take the stuff we can grab. Uh, I don't know, I feel bad. Like, I don't wanna leave all my stuff here. Maybe we can go and, and buy a new couch. I've I've seen, oh, that's something we haven't done is go and take a look at Spawn because I've seen some, some shops popping up lately and I feel like you guys would really like to see that. Let's have a sleep and we'll go shopping. Maybe, we might not shop, we're just gonna go look. I honestly can't remember what I've showed you yet, but here is our Harmony Hollow board. I don't know why Cherry is still a gingerbread man. <laughs> I might need to fix that. Oh, it looks like a couple people still have their Christmas heads on. Hopefully that'll fix. If we come down here, whoa, what's this? Everything's changed. Wow. So last time, if you remember, none of this was here. I don't even know if I've shown you my pub yet. Oh my gosh, it's been so long since I've been on here. We've got our little quest area. This is my pub. And in the next episode, we are going to fill this up but check it out. Isn't this pretty? I love it. So inventory is coming soon. And I believe Delphron left me the cutest little terrarium. I love it so much. And then if we go back here, got pool table and a jukebox. What's playing? Do I have my music turned down? Nothing's in the jukebox right now. We need to find some CDs. Here's our storage room. Yeah, so we've got a couple shops here. And we've got a church for getting married. So now that we are near a village, we can find ourselves a boyfriend and get married and have kids and oh my gosh. Here we have, dang, that's a cute furniture store. What's this? For H-bomb. Oh, someone's doing a scavenger hunt. Check it out. Disco couch for three diamonds. We're gonna have to find somewhere to put that. He's selling us one chair for a diamond. Scott, I can make that out of clay with a deco bench, sir. You're out of your mind. We have a showroom downstairs with a disco couch. Look at me. Oh my gosh. This is the coolest ever. Rave sofa. Whoa, whoa. But there's all this other stuff. I don't know if he's actually selling it or if it's just for display, but look at all these cool chairs we can have in our house. We need to get some of these. Oops. Some of the Eames chairs. What color sofa? I kind of like the coral one. Since our house is gonna be white, ooh, or maybe blue. I'm a fan of a pop of color. I don't know about that though. It's a little much. So we get so much redecorating to do. Oh wait, the door's gone. <laughs> Tried to close the door, but it's, it's not there anymore. And then if we come up this way, we've got a couple more shops being built. This is also my shop, but it's mostly like server owned. I don't get any of the profits from here. So name tags and legendary pets. Oh yes. Hard things that you can very rarely get. Over here, we've got, oh, I haven't named it yet. This is the Nether Goods. It's another server shop for, apparently the biomes of plenty stuff doesn't show up in the Nether for some reason, we don't know why. And then we need to make a path up here. I know Marielle wanted to claim this. Yeah, her art shop. Oh. Oh, very cute. I love it. That's super pretty. The way she built it is so cute too. And then over here, all presents. The Lucky Box Shop. 
a box of lucky items. Try your luck today. And this is Delphron's. So basically what you do is for three emeralds, you get a lucky box, which we will come do this at some point. It's very exciting. I can see through your, your shop, sir. <laughs> and then we have three future shops over here. Sabra's. What's it? Darling Doggy Trading. Oh, and then Lauren and then Nicola. So it's really coming along. This place is so cute. I'm really excited to have shops to shop at. What else? Let's put all this other stuff back in our deco bench. It feels like packing, but it also feels like I'm just, I'm losing everything. Look how empty this place is already. I'm actually kind of excited to like tear everything down, even though I literally just built it up. You guys didn't even see this. Look at all my inventory pets. In the last episode with Sabra, was that even the last episode? Yeah, I think it was. Her and I went inventory pet hunting and found so many. Look at all these. So some of them I have been gifted, like the Pingit pet, a couple other ones. I made a couple and then I found so, so many. So this is awesome. We've got some duplicates in here that we can gift to people if they don't already have it. Other than that, I'm tearing this place down. I would set it on fire, but we kind of want to keep it. And uh, I don't know. I'm. Do I leave it? Like, do I leave the outside of it? It's a nice place. Maybe it could be my vacation home. I don't know what anyone else is doing here. Maybe it can be like a hotel, a halfway place to stay. Get rid of this out here that we never use. Can we even sit in these? You can. Oh, look at me. It's a day at the beach. <laughs> Wow, we've taken just like a little bit of stuff out and it's already so empty. So yeah, the good thing is that we never finished this house. I took forever and didn't do a whole lot. <laughs> it's completely empty up here. And I think the other house is going to be a little bit smaller. I'm going to be able to have a basement because while the idea of having a downstairs, which I actually don't even have the boat dock stairs like access anymore. I think the idea of it was good, but I... You know, we can fly, so there was no need for peasant transportation. <laughs> so I can collect all my my materials, and I'll probably leave this here. That's just, it would take way too long to tear down our Christmas tree. It's not Christmas anymore. I don't know if Cherry or Alice will leave, because their houses are really awesome and they've done so much. But I'm hoping to convince Cherry to come live by me. <laughs> but... Yeah, it's just up to everyone else. It's really whatever they want to do. Let's take oh. oh my gosh. Crouch and right click. Okay. Oh, that scared me. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> oh, I still have Christmas lights up here. What? How'd I forget about those? Oh, I have a lot of undecorating to do. Well, take it down a couple walls and look so empty. It's so empty. Our house. Oh man, I spent so long trying to perfect this and I was finally happy with it. And then I decided to move. It's so typical me. <laughs> well, I thank you guys for hanging out with me today. And I hope that you are okay with me moving and that you understand. I'm hoping that this will help me be able to be happier on the server and want to be on here more. And hopefully collab with a lot more people because I'll be closer and there will be more to do and interact. Be sure to hit that like button. Check out everyone who is on the server. Their links are in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!